Hey there, happy artists, and welcome back to Kyle Heath Art. I'm so excited about this video because this is going to be the first video in a series that I'm calling How to Get Better at Art. We all want to improve in our artwork, but sometimes where we fall apart is in the specifics. So I'm going to tackle a few specific, targeted things you can do to get better at art over time. And this first video is called Setting Art Goals. And we can give this a subtitle too, Setting Art Goals That Empower You Without Freaking You Out. <laughs> In this video, I'm going to tell you about my art goals, and then I'm going to tell you how you can make art goals in a way that won't leave you discouraged, but will leave you directed and inspired. And real quick, before I dive too deep into this, if you like my teaching and you want way more of it, you've got to check out my Patreon subscription. There's a link for it in the description, and in each video I talk all about this kind of stuff. So let's talk about setting art goals. Some of you are already anxious and freaking out just from the word goals, and I totally respect and understand that. <laughs> I thought it would be a good idea to start off with my personal relationship with plans. I hate them. If we have a dinner date on our calendar two nights in one week, I feel totally claustrophobic. If my work day is chopped up with an errand in the middle of the day, I feel irrationally cranky and anxious all day. <laughs> and on the contrary, my idea of absolute heaven is a completely open day for me to do all the work that I want to, totally uninterrupted. So that's just so you know where I'm coming from. I am not some plans junkie. I'm the exact opposite. But one thing this type B guy over here has found out over the past five years or so is that I really thrive with some good overarching goals to direct my energy. So I'm gonna tell you about my goals and then I'll show you how to set your own. So first off, I consider my goals to be targets that are pointing me towards a specific vision I have for my life. And I'm not gonna to spend too much time in the clouds here. I'll get into the nitty gritty soon. But I wanna tell you about my vision first because those are the things that my goals are pointing me towards. My specific vision in life is to have a thriving art teaching business that makes me enough money that I can live in Laguna Beach, California, my favorite place in the world. And I know that sounds super duper specific and there's a reason for that. And I'll tell you all about that when I tell you how to construct your own vision and your own goals. So all of my goals for this year and every year are directed towards that vision. And you'll notice that my two goals for this year are focused on the more technical aspects of artwork. So my first goal of the year, casual sketching in the evening while my wife and I watch TV. My wife and I cool off in the evening by chilling in the living room. The TV's on and usually we're playing on our phones. I can literally open and reopen the exact same apps for three hours. And I'm not a smartphone hater, I love technology but I do want to spend my time better. I also love sketching. I just don't do it too much. Sketching is my true first love. It's what got me into art. It relaxes me, and Lord knows I could use way more relaxation in my life. So my goal is whenever the TV is on, I break out the sketchbook, I break out my mechanical pencil, I crack open Pinterest, and I just start sketching whatever looks interesting to me. The main point of all this is I just want more pure, unhindered artwork in my life. I do so much painting now that it can be a big to-do whenever I sit down and create artwork. And that means that I'm progressing a little more slowly because I'm not finishing as much art as I used to. So sketching to the rescue. Now I can make all kinds of different sketches finished every single day and I'm just cranking out more artwork and getting better a little more quickly. And one other really important thing for me with this goal is that this is all for me. My intention is that nobody ever sees this artwork unless I give them permission to. And so that means that I'm removing as many hindrances from my art making as possible. If I make some gorgeous drawing, for example, in the top right corner, I feel totally okay making a but ugly drawing right next to it. <laughs> because the goal is just making art, 
it's all for me. I want artwork that has absolutely no restriction in it whatsoever. Okay, and then goal number two for this year. And remember, this points me towards my vision of having a thriving art business that makes enough money that I can live in Laguna Beach. And this year, it's all about getting better at art. So number two is work on the fundamentals. I want to improve in the very basics of art this year. I want to get better at drawing, values, color, perspective, form, nothing fancy, just the very basic stuff. And so the way I'm going to fulfill my second art goal is the almighty sticky note. Oh. If you're one of my patrons on Patreon, you know all about the sticky note. Every single painting that I make, I have a sticky note that has the one fundamental thing that I want to focus on for that painting. For example, my last sticky note was palette knife because I wanted to get better at painting using just a palette knife. So with that one basic thing as my focus while I'm painting, everything else that I know about painting is on autopilot during that painting, except the one thing. I'm thinking about how to use the palette knife. And so for my next painting, I'll have an entirely different sticky note with an entirely different basic objective. I think this is literally the greatest secret to improvement I will ever discover. Try it. Sticky notes are amazing. So those are my goals, and I'm about a month into them right now, and they're going really well so far. So now I'm going to show you how to set your own goals. So step number one is envision where you want to be. Be bold and crazy with your vision. Throw out all of the can'ts and all the doubts. Here's where you need to stomp down that voice that says, well, that's not really realistic. You can be as buck wild as you want to with your vision. Do you want a painting in the Louvre? Do you want to draw exactly like Kim Jong Gi? Or maybe you have more reserved goals. Do you want to get into a gallery? Or do you want to make a painting of your family that's good enough that you can put it on your wall? Whatever it is, be as bold as possible in this step. Don't think about what's impossible. Think about what you want and don't be afraid to dream. Then step number two, you're going to deconstruct your vision. Now this is not picking it apart, but it's putting on paper the skills that you're going to have one day when you reach your vision. So with construction, like constructing a house, you're using raw materials to build a house. And that means with deconstruction, you're looking at your vision and figuring out the raw materials that you use to build that vision. So now let's get totally practical with this. Say your vision is to draw like Kim Jong Gi. Your next step is you pick apart that final state and say, what skills do I have when I draw like Kim Jong Gi? Well, when I draw like Kim Jong Gi one day, I'll have a strong sense of perspective, I'll have a strong sense of form, and I'll have a huge visual memory of people and animals and all kinds of things like that. These are the raw materials of your deconstructed vision, and we're going to call them targets because these are the bullseyes that you're going to be aiming for with your goals. And I know I'm kind of mixing metaphors here, so I apologize for that, but considering these as targets, I think helps you with a sense of moving towards them. So let's look at another example of deconstructing a vision. Let's look at one with kind of a more situational vision. Say you want to be represented by a gallery. Deconstructing that might look like, well, when I'm represented by a gallery one day, my work will be as good as other people that are in local galleries, and I'll have connections in my local art scene. Those are the specific targets that you'll set up that you'll aim for when you set your goals. And since I mentioned goals, let's look at the third and last step of goal setting. The last step is you're going to set an achievable goal that will move you closer to your target. This step is a little bit harder, but you do get better at goal setting the more and more you do it. Let's look at our imaginary dream of being able to draw like Kim Jong Gi. Our targets were that we had a great sense of perspective, a great sense of form, and a great sense of visual memory. So an achievable goal for this year that moves you towards those targets would be every day this year, I'll do one mannequin drawing. This goal is doable, 
and it gets you closer to two of your three targets, form and perspective. An example of a bad goal would be do a hundred drawings a day and make them perfectly detailed. <laughs> you can't rely on today's enthusiasm for next month's effort. You need to think of what you can do consistently because the goal of this is finding something that's small enough that it becomes a new habit. Your goals are meant to set habits and your habits are what's gonna get you to your vision one day. And believe me, a small thing that's done every day is going to produce very big results. And of course, you can always tweak your goals down the road too. You can make them easier, or if they're just too easy for you, you can make them more ambitious, but your goal is movement. And hey, you should feel absolutely great if you're taking steps toward your dream. How many people are actually doing that? Your vision may seem insurmountably far away, but habit is what got every great artist where they are. And these goals create habits that point you in the right direction. So give it a shot. Step one, envision where you wanna be. Step two, deconstruct your vision. And step three, use the targets to set achievable goals. And please share in the comments what your goals are. I would love to hear them. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Again, if you like this kind of stuff, join my Patreon. I talk about goals and how to improve in every one of my Patreon videos, and I'd love to have you there. Thanks for watching, everyone, and happy art making. So, what's your name? Hohoba. Jojo Hohoba. Jojo. Hohoba. Jo -jo. Ho -ho